Oh my goodness, YouTube. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you're at watching this vlog. And yes, we're starting it off today with the keyword. And what is the keyword? For all the new subscribers, if you're going down into the comments on these daily vlogs, you'll notice that a lot of time there's a kind of a random word at the beginning of people's comments. Well, Basically, throughout every single vlog, I mention a keyword, which is basically a hint as to what the theme of the vlog is for that particular day. So, today, it's global. Global, that's right. And this is not the question of the day, but I just have to ask. I have to ask, because yes, we have surpassed 7,000 subscribers. Welcome, by the way, to all the new subscribers. And I want to continue to strive to keep this online community strong. And the bigger it gets, the more difficult that will become. I, I realize that. However, through the keyword, through the question of the day, and yes, through this question that I'm about to ask, I believe we can continue to uh, hone in on communicating well through the comments down below. And listen, I can't always answer every comment. In fact, I'm just going to pull up right now uh, yesterday's vlog, which it is now 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon afternoon. It has, let me just see here, it has 105 comments. And I, so I, there's like no way I can answer every single comment, but I will continue to do my best. And I encourage you to go down and chime in to people's comments. And it's just amazing how everyone is chiming in, chiming in about the Skechers Razor 3 and all the other racing flat ideas. So, okay. First of all, roll call, roll call. Where are you from in the world? Where are you from in the world? You can give your country, you can give your city, your state, whatever you want to share. Where are you from in the world? With the growth of this uh, this YouTube channel, I'm just fascinated to hear where people are at, around, literally watching around the world. It's blowing my mind, blowing my mind. Okay, we're going to take this guy, the Razor 3, out for a spin today. This is going to be my first impression of this Skecher Razor 3. It arrived in the mail yesterday, and I'm just trying to discern with you how this Razor 3 will end up in the running shoe quiver, if you will, if you will. All right, time to go run. I just always like to see what the inner uh, liner feels like and the upper for the first time. My initial gut reaction is it feels just a little slick, a little, sl you know what, that could be the sock though. I'll be you know, sometimes, and that's something to consider moving forward for you is socks, <laughs> different types of socks and how they react to the inside of a shoe. Because um, I would, like I would say, uh, darn tough socks are not as slick feeling. All right, lacing up. I'm doing the runner's knot right now. Yeah, I know you can't. Leaving the shed with the GoPro 7, you're gonna see my gut reaction, so my facial expression, to the first steps in the Skechers 3 once I start jogging. And so, here we go. Let's just get on the road here. All right. All right, you ready for this? All right, here we go. Here we go, all right. I'll see you on the flip side. Here we go. Taken out by a FedEx truck. Oh boy. Uh, left out, tried to eat the geese. <laughs> okay, 
That one was my fault. That was awesome. I hope you saw that on camera. So cool. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. There you go, Skechers Razor 3, coming right up. My first impressions, but first, five kilometers, uh, three miles, uh, th uh, 8.30 a mile, five minutes per kilometer. It was my pace today, so feeling good, nice and relaxed. Remember, yesterday was a little faster, so today backed off a little bit and feeling good. I'm about to head to the gym, but first, I just have to mention that. I was wrong, and I will always, always admit to you when I am wrong, whether it's with respect to a shoe review, whether it's with respect to a, a, a workout idea, and I was a little off about the fartlek idea for marathon training a couple days ago. Uh, maybe three or four people noticed that my pacing was a little fast, a little aggressive, and guess what? That means you guys are listening, because guess what? I am the first to admit that I will watch YouTube videos, but sometimes I'm not listening to the YouTube video, meaning I'm zoning out, multitasking, and basically three or four people commented and said my fart lick was definitely too aggressive, and I agree. I went back and reassessed, and so that was not, it was too fast. So I had the idea of going for an hour fart lick, which I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but an hour fart lick, five minutes on, two minutes off, five minutes on at, at two mile pace, and you'll notice if you go back and watch the vlog, hopefully it'll be upper right hand corner, that I had to pause and think for a second about that pace. I was calculating li literally on the spot and that was just too fast, too fast. I would back it off to like 10K pace basically. I would feel comfortable there. Uh, two mile pace was too fast, but I am gonna just stick to my guns on the hour length. I still like, I, I'm used to running for three hours, four hours, five hours as a ultra runner transitioning back down to the marathon distance. And so I would go out for, you know, 30 mile long runs over the past three years. And so the out, I still like really, really am excited to try that workout uh, in 2019, getting ready for my first marathon, but just know like I'm always gonna be transparent and tell you when I was wrong. And so back that pace off, baby, back it off. Don't go do that, uh, just a little too aggressive. So thank you for uh, calling me out and for noticing that that was too fast to everybody that commented on that. Okay, we're off, <laughs> I'm going to the gym. folks my first impressions right now this is not my full review I always like to make that clear because I think sometimes uh, you want a full review but you can't give a full review of a shoe unless you put some miles into it so I always like to try to put at least 50 miles into a shoe before a full review so this will be that full review will be coming probably in about a month from now um, all right where to begin oh I know exactly where to begin it's on Strava that's right I just I'm amazed at how we can communicate on the World Wide Web. I'm amazed. All right, shout out to Jeremy. Where's the comment from Jeremy on Strava? Basically, I posted my run on Strava, you know, three hours ago, and Jeremy uh, asked this question because he knew that I ran in this shoe today. He said this, during your review, can you add more feedback on the fit? Uh, like narrow, small, arch, all of that. So Jeremy, Thank you for that question, and again, Jeremy, it's not my full review, but I can tell you about the fit right now. Just looking on the inside of the shoe, and for everybody else, it has no arch. <laughs> There's no arch. So if you have high arches, you may not want to get this shoe. No arch. It's very flat on the inside of the shoe. I'm just looking at it and feeling it right, right now. Uh, especially compared to the Fast Twitch from Saucony, the Fast Twitch 8, and then the Zante 4 from New Balance, which these two shoes, these other two shoes, have a little bit of an arch. This guy, no arch. And it's a pretty, when, I, when I'm looking in this shoe, 
the, I'm going to call it the platform or the landing area inside the shoe is pretty wide, Jeremy. It, it's not, it's definitely not a narrow fit. At least that's my sense after, I know it's only one run, but even just looking at it, like the Vaporfly 4% from Nike, some people have been complaining that that shoe is pretty narrow, especially through the midfoot, and they actually won't use the shoe because they feel unstable. I, I, you know, you know what this actually, the landing of this Razor 3 kind of feels like? And I, I'm stretching it a little bit, but the Vimero 14, the Nike Vimero 14, it just has a nice wide landing area. All right, does that help, Jeremy? And I'll, again, I'll give you my full thoughts soon. And a few first impressions after the first run for the Razor 3. Basically, it felt nice on the run. Like, obviously, very lightweight, 6.4 ounces, which is, I believe, 180 grams. If I'm off, let me know, everybody outside the U.S., but felt nice and lightweight. The ride was comfortable. Felt great. It felt great, actually. The ride felt great. Um, I would be a little concerned about the responsiveness in faster settings. So if I was trying to run you know, 520 a mile, I would, you know, and I will do that soon in the shoe, but I'll be interested to see how responsive this foam is, the hyperburst foam through the midsole. I wasn't feeling it today. I wasn't feeling like, okay, I feel like I'm, like I'm getting some energy back, uh, but that's not to say that the ride did not feel really nice. Like it, it felt really good. Okay, on to the upper. I, probably my biggest concerns, definitely my biggest concerns are the upper. I will say it was nice and breathable. Like I actually, my toes almost felt a little chilled cause it was, it was colder today in Denver. So very breathable. So, you know, great for warmer weather, hot weather, uh, through the upper, basically the first mile I felt very, very gently some pressure points. And I will show you now on the screen what I'm talking about these, basically the upper construction does not seem very high quality. It's already like through the toe box. It's kind of folding in on itself. And I think that basically comes down to the material that they're using and the, however they're sewing it together in the factory. Um, it may not be the best. Now, listen, once your foot is inside the cavity of the shoe, yeah, your foot fills up that space and pushes the upper, uh, up but I don't know if that's the best thing for your toes, especially for 26 miles. You know, I'm looking for a marathon racing shoe in 2019, and I want to see if this might be the guy. And at this point, I would be a little concerned to go over like 12 or 15 miles in the shoe because of the upper. I just was feeling some pressure points at times. And I'll, you can see it on the screen right now, and I'm just like pointing it out right now on the screen. So that's a little observation about the upper. All right, let's go next to the midsole. And yes, the Razor 3 is made out of this hyperburst foam, which is 15% lighter than the Razor 2. That's impressive. Good job, Skechers. Like that's a big jump forward in just one year. So I, and I noticed it today. I think the Razor 2 was about 6.9 ounces. And so the Razor 3 is like, I've, I've seen between 6.1 and 6.4. So basically a half an ounce less. And I don't know, it feels good. Um, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I will just point out that I can see glue where the upper meets the midsole. And yeah, it's a little concerning as a consumer to see glue that has kind of spilled over. Um, I don't, if I try to pull and yank on the upper, would it detach from the midsole? I don't, I'm not going to try it, but I don't know. So of course, like durability, that is, and in fact, if you have more than 200 miles in a Razor 3, let me know down in the comments. I'd be fascinated to hear your thoughts on how it's holding up because right now I'm just a little concerned about being able to see glue between the upper and the midsole. And just one last observation is the outsole. Seems okay. Uh, I would be interested to test the shoe out in wet conditions because uh, there's not much grip on the bottom or not much, yeah, not much uh, grip or lug action at all, of course, on the bottom with this shoe. It's a road shoe, so there shouldn't be, but you know, if you're turning sharp corners on in a road race, you know, let's say at faster speeds and it's raining out, yeah, you know, you might want to be a little careful. That's kind of the sense I'm getting, but again, I haven't tried it yet in wet conditions. 
And there you have it. Those are my first impressions of the Go Run Razor 3. Stay tuned. 50 miles later, we'll get you the full review. Uh, we could go on and on tonight about this, but we will save that for another day. All right. Keyword again, global. I can't wait to hear where you're from around the world. Oh my goodness. It's going to blow my mind. It's going to blow my mind. I just know it. And the official question of the day. Will you be able to attend the live stream tonight, Wednesday, 7 p.m.? And if not, that's okay, but ask your questions down below for me, whether it's about life, training, racing. Ooh, that's a fun topic. Racing, racing tactics, racing strategy, shoes. The list goes on and on, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And then, of course, you can watch later in the replay. You rock. Thanks for being here. Oh my goodness, what a day. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo! See you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night. Woo! Actually, sorry, when you're watching this tonight.